Hello, Vladimir. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you, mister? Good, teacher. I'm okay. Well, actually, I recently finished a meeting with my partner for the master because we have to uh, entregar, bring. Deliver? I to deliver a, a homework for the next Saturday. Oh, really? We're, oh. Working, yes, we're working in a new case from the, the new subject. Oh, really? Uh, That's yes. cool. It's business legislation. I don't know. Business law. Business law. Ah, yeah. That's okay. That's the word. Okay, that's good. Let me just use my camera. Okay, that's good. What about you? Did you go to the... Oh, yes, I had to. I had to go and be there for, for a little while. I went on Saturday. It was crowded. And you know, that's a, that's an obligation with family when something like this happens. Yes, I imagine. But teacher, uh, I, I was, I was uh, viendo, I was. I watched. I, was, I watched uh, news from your niece, rest in peace. Yeah. Um, it was a uh, homenaje, what do you say homenaje? Well, they did one in in Venezuela, one in Ecuador, and they're gonna uh -huh. at the equator. An an homage, an homage, and an then, homage from Equator. That's the word, Equator. Yeah. yeah, and they're going to have one here in El Salvador on Tuesday. Ah, really? Yep. Yes, um, my wife sends me a a TikTok from your niece that I share with you. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Thank you. It's a, it's a beautiful video. Yeah. Yeah, she about, was about from, about pretty from young. Yeah, she was yeah. pretty young. Yes. Well, yeah. those situations happen. Yes, yes. We have to, to continue. I like the, the sentence that your nephew told. Un rayo de luz se llevó otro rayo de luz. Oh, yeah. Good evening. Good evening, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Yes. Good evening. Yeah, you know, uh, Hi. as I tell you, those situations are like, they happen. Oh, I might be yeah. So, how was your weekend? My weekend? Yeah. Well, good, because my wife has incapacitada okay. para decreto. Sí. But no, she's not ill. Uh, she, she, uh, Ese se, uh, se, I can't la palabra en inglés, I don't know. What do you mean by capacita? Uh, el, let me talk in Spanish. Okay. Ella se, se, hay un decreto para gente que tiene tres enfermedades que son crónicas y son, oh, really? son para el COVID. Yes. Uh, diabetes, blood, blood. Pressure, yeah. Uh, problemas bronquiales. Yeah, problems with the throat. Okay, she has the three. <laughs> oh my God. So, yes, she took the decreto and sec security social. Social security. Social security uh, will pay her for 72 days. Oh, really? As 75% of her earn that she earned. Salary. Yes. Yes. Okay. So she's going to be home. Yes. That's so cool. I'm resting. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to go drop her off. You don't have to go pick her up. You're going to be home earlier. Yes. You know what you mean. Uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, good for you, both of you, actually, because it's good. Yes, for, for the other family. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So, and 
you got to enjoy those three months? Uh, enjoy well. <laughs> uh, well, to but a new experience. Yes, like when, like the last year when she was, uh, uh, Aislaron a todos? Yeah, Isolation? The, the quarantine. The no, ah, the quarantine. quarantine. Yes. Oh, man. Menos yo, yo trabajé toda la pandemia. <laughs> oh, really? Well, yes. Yeah. And your I'm IT from Central Bank. Cybersecurity, sorry. <laughs> you didn't have no option. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Thank you very much, Vladimir. We will go with a teacher somebody else here. Hello, Edwin, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, mister. Tell me, how are you today? Mm. Tired. Tired? Yeah. How was your day? Mm. Work. I'm working today. Uh, all all night i you have to work all night all night yeah okay and um, what traffic. time what time did you Early get work. in what time did you check in today uh 5 p.m um como se dice de my de my my house salí a las dos de la tarde I left my home at 2 p.m. I left my home. Left. At 2 p.m. Left. 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 Yeah. My home 2 p.m. on traffic or oh, terrible. Okay. And at what time are you going to finish your shift? Mm, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Oh. Yeah. So it's going to be a long, long night. <laughs> yeah. Well, long yeah. night. <laughs> Yeah, that happens, that happens. But the good thing is that you are here in class. That's excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. Well, thank you very much, Edwin. Welcome to the class. Let me see, let me see. Okay, just give me a second. Hello, Evelyn, how are you? Hello, teacher. Oh, you're on your way home? Uh, uh, not yet. <laughs> That's why. I drive. You are on your way home. Yes. Yes. Oh. Um. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry, Evelyn. Okay. What about Sonia? Hello, Sonia. How are you? Hello. How are you, Miss? I'm fine. Oh, you also on your way home, right? Yes. Okay, never mind then. That's okay, that's okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys. And let's see. So today we are going to talk about, well, we are going to be talking about how do we call for the people for help when we have to report a problem. Okay. That's what, that's what our class is going to be about. Today we are going to be working with unit number four and the name is of the unit is tech support, okay? Okay, let me see.
we have to, it's very important when we report something, when we report a problem, a technological problem, it's very important how do we report it. And that's what we are going to be focusing on right now. So let's check it out. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Let's see. Sonia, do you usually call for Hello. tech? Do you usually call for tech support? Yes, usually I report fires. Como se dice? Failures. Come? Failures. Failures. Yep, failures. Okay, failures. Okay, thanks. Okay, and what's the most common failure you have to report? Um, how do you say um, fallas en telefonía, por ejemplo? Okay, on the phone lines. On the phone lines. On the phone, on the phone lines. Phone. Phone. Oh, phone. 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 Line. Lines. Phone lines. Casi no le oigo. O sea, no le oigo bien. Let me see. Let me check my audio. Yeah, I got. Uh, let me see. Which microphone? What about this microphone? Good. Good. This microphone is okay. And this microphone. Uh, the other one is better. Yes. Oh, what about? Okay, let's see. So we are going to work with the other microphone then. Okay. So let's okay. see. Let's see. Thank you very much, Sonia. Vladimir, what about you? Do you? Well, I don't know. Do you call tech support? <laughs> Teacher, actually. You are you are tech support. Well, no, you are yes, not. Yes, before tech support. before I worked in cybersecurity, I was working in tech support. Okay, but now in the position you are now, ah, you are you are not tech. Yeah, you are not tech. No, support. teacher, I don't call tech support. You do. I it refer my, myself. Okay. Yes. But well, actually, that you could. depends. Depends. Actually, depends of the privilege of my user, because if I need to escalate privileges, what do you say? Yeah, yeah, to escalate privileges. To escalate privilege, I need to call to to take support because my user, my user doesn't have a lot of privilege. Okay. Yeah, and your user does not, doesn't okay. allow, That's... allow, allow. No me lo permite, right? Yes. Your user doesn't allow. Yeah, that's a problem sometimes. Why are you, why are you using caps? I'm sorry? Oh. Why are you, today are you using caps? Because my password is in caps. Ah, okay. And I and I left it locked. Okay, that sorry. always happens to me. Okay. That's the that's the the unique port that I call to tech support. Actually, I work next to tech board, so I told you to my co co worker. Hey, please help me. Put your user and password here, please. Mm. Yeah, you know sometimes tech support is. Sometimes their job, some days is easy and some days is difficult. Um, depends of the failure that reports. Yeah. When some critical failure is when we, we don't have internet. All people call because the Outlook 355 is in the cloud. Yeah. So you don't have mail, you don't have you don't have oh, nothing. Yes. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that's the word. You don't have nothing. Or when there's a problem with the server, you don't have 
screeners, you don't have computers, you don't have nothing. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, uh, at a school I used to work, in un colegio que yo trabajaba, if the server were, went down, there was problems even with the doors. Teníamos problemas hasta con las puertas. Uh, because you Everything use a, was a connected. Car. Yeah. For opening. Because yeah, we were using a car for opening. So, oh. and everything, all the information, all the information on the cloud or on the server, all this, everything, everything in the school, computers, and I'm talking about like what? More than 200 computers at that school. Wow. A lot of computers. Besides, well, no, let me see. Okay, 150, 160, 70, 80, yeah, like more than 200. And besides, all the students from high school with their laptops, out 200 more, like 400, 500 computers connected to the web. To the through the same server so yeah, if the server of, went yeah. down we were down completely i guess the capacity of the server it it doesn't have strong i don't know it was wow the servers there were actually two rooms eran dos dos cuartos Ah, oh no, 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 no
is not many. Rare. rare. How many? It is rare. Okay, that's it's rare. Cool. No. That's actually cool. cool. Only, only uh, Monday pass. Uh, last Monday. Last, last Monday. Monday. Last Monday. Uh, que nos habíamos quedado sin internet. Yeah, the most common problem. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, teacher. The, the failure of internet connection is a problem for everybody. Oh, well, thank you, Edwin. Hello, Susana. How are you? Hi. Well, I am don't. I don't feel so good today. You don't feel good. No. Okay, don't worry. But welcome to the class. It's good okay, to thank have you, you here. Thank you. Well, let's see. Thank you, Susana. Mr. Luis Armando Leiva. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Luis. Then we got. Luis, you connected the microphone and disconnected the microphone. Okay. It's Hello, Mister. How are you? Hi. How are it's you? Me. Yes, you. Okay. Thank you. Well, I, I fine. And you? I'm just great. Thank you very much. Well, uh, a little, a but little the... busy, but because uh, I, I fine. Okay, tell me, how was your weekend? Um, well, I I have a, a hard tarea, <laughs> activity. Homework. See, si. um, oh. I I clean to to area the bodega. ¿Cómo se dice bodega? Storage. Storage. Yep. And and all all weekend. Oh really? Yeah, storage. Okay, gracias. Yeah. And and Sunday, and I go. To, I went. I went. I went. Uh, to the church. To church. The church. And uh, descansar. Rest. Rest, okay, rest all day. Because this day is very, very, very busy. Este día. Okay. Well, yes. that's cool. That's cool. Welcome to the class, Luis. Thank you, teacher. I am going to get the attendance right now, guys. Let me get it just a second. Today is the 22nd, Monday. Okie dokie, let's see. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera, not here. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Here. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta, not here. Claudio Guadalupe Alfaro, not here. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez, not here. Uh, Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. She's there. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos, not here. Karen Lizeth García Rodríguez, here. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, thank you. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez, here. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Aso González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Susana. Eh, Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, we have waited for your classmates. 
Eh, esperemos que no tengan problemas sus compañeros con lo de los minutos, porque sí, este, leyeron el mensaje, ¿verdad? Y le, perdón que les hablen en español, este, los porcentajes que le dan los minutos es muy importante. Recuérdense que Insafor está pidiendo el 80%, entonces tenemos que hacer ese esfuerzo. ¿Ok? Let me see how are we doing the ones here. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's continue. We are going to go to the manual. Okay. Manual in page number 39. There is a conversation for us to practice. Let me show it to you, okay? The instruction says, listen to your teacher, to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. And it goes like this. It's a very, very simple conversation. It says, Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Again, I will repeat. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. I will repeat one last time. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, guys. Just let me check something. Perfect. Okay. Now we are going to practice that conversation and I am going to divide you in small groups. Mr. Walter Arana, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Welcome back. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see, let me check. Two, four, six, eight, perfect. I'm going to divide you in pairs so you can practice the conversation. Please, jump into the groups. Good morning. This is Peter from Tesh. Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Res Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. 
What it is, Robert? It doesn't work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. We can be able. Good morning. This is spirit from. Ah, no, te comienza, perdón. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. Tech, How, tech um, Support. Tech Support. Tech Support. Thank you, teacher. Hop. I I like you know, I like to report a problem with them with my computer. I I I yes. Teacher, una pregunta y esa es la abreviatura de I did. I, I would. I would. Would. ¿Qué sería? Quiere decir. Me gustaría. Un verbo en pasado. Me gustaría. Aunque luego va like. Es un verbo de modo. Lo que pasa es que los verbos de modo lo que hacen es modificar el verbo que va a continuación. En este caso, si después de este verbo, pues el verbo, por ejemplo, I would eat, sería uh -huh. yo comería. Esa terminación, ia, es lo que le da. Es lo que usted logra al poner el would. Y se usa yes, con cualquier like. otro verbo. Los verbos de modo preceden cualquier verbo. Ahora bien, lo que expresan los verbos de modo es lo que va cambiando. Pero esto es otra explicación de crisis. ¿Ok? okay, okay. Ya vamos a llegar a la explicación gramatical. No ahora, pero sí vamos a llegar a ella. En este caso, entonces lo que hace es transformar like a, y ponerle el, el y, y iría al final. Sí, deja de ser me gusta y se convierte en me gustaría. Ok. ¿Cómo dijo que se pronunciaba, teacher? Ay. 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 Con la de Alina. Ay. Yep. yep. Gracias. You're welcome. Sí, okay. terminé. Estoy ahora. Okay, you start. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? I doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. I start again? Okay. I start. Good morning. Good morning. Is it? Ah. Computer. With my, co with my computer, yes. With my computer. Yes. What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? Uh -huh. ¿A ti? Sí. ¿A ti? What is it, Robert? It, sí, pero con pregunta. What is, is it, Robert? What, uh, is, what, it? what, it is, what no, is what it? No, what is it, Robert? Ah, okay. What is it, Robert? Uh, it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't que no entiendo. It doesn't seem to work. It is doesn't no, it doesn't it, seem come on. It, it 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 yes it it, it doesn't, doesn't seem to work seem to work I see let me ask you some questions. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Dale. Okay. Ask Repítalo. me. I ask see. Me. I, I, I see. I see. No. No, teacher. Yes, we are in the main room. Okay, gracias. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who is going to start. Luis Armando Leiva and Walter Arana, please. 
start. Okay, teacher. You start, Walter. Okay, good morning. This is Peter from Tish Support. Who can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. He'd like to report the problem with my computer. Where is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. Let's see, next one, Sandra and Sonia. Uh, Sandra, you can start, please. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can, how can I help you? Okay. Sonia, your microphone. Perdón, I'm sorry. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What it is, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Edwin and Susana, please. Okay. Who start, teacher? Uh, Edwin, please, you start. Okay, teacher. Good morning. This is Peter from Teach, teach Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I did like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, thank you, both of you. Now, let's see, Sonia and Vladimir, please. I'm Peter, Sonia. Yo, Peter. What was anteriormente? Yo fui Robert. Ah, okay, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, let's analyze a little bit about that conversation that we just practiced, okay? Let's see, guys. Okay, okay, okay. We have a conversation here. And the conversation says, Good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to. I like to. Okay, this expression, what is the meaning? Okay, let me explain something to you. What we have here is a model, okay? We have a model and this model is wood, okay? This is the model we are going to work with right now. Oops. Now, the model wood. How do we use it? ¿Cómo se utiliza? Perfect. Let's see. How do we use it? We use it like this. It's very simple. Look. I would. Oops. I'm sorry. My bad. I would like 
I would like to sleep right now. Now, the model, what, what it does is to change the verb that it precedes. El modo lo que hace es cambiar el sentido del verbo al cual precede. Look at this. I will, oh my gosh. I will go with you. I will go with you if, whatever. Okay, now, I need you to notice something. Always, we have will, if you see here, will, it before another verb, right? In this case, look, it's before the verb like, right? And here is before the verb go. Now, the model is modifying this verb. In this case, the model is modifying this verb. Okay. I would like to sleep. Me gustaría dormir. I will go with you. Iría contigo. So, it express a present or future possibility. Okay. It's very important that we remember that when we use the model would, we are talking about a future possibility, okay? We use it to, descri to describe um, how can I explain it to you easier? No expresa una posibilidad futura, también una posibilidad presente, okay? Pero más que todo una posibilidad futura. Also, we use it para expresar beliefs, creencias, presentes o futuras. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, también lo utilizan en algunos casos como el pasado del we. La idea es esta. Y lo que nos tenemos que comprar. I mean, let's focus on this. Enfocémonos en esto. We use the model will to express a future possibility, okay? So, a future or a present possibility. Let's go back to the conversation. Regresemos a la conversación. No les explico más porque si vamos a tener un momento para explicar el punto gramatical en detalle, pero no es este, okay? Así que vamos a regresar. So, look. I like to report a problem. Me gustaría. Okay. Me gustaría report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? In this case, look. I like to report a problem with my computer. Me gustaría reportar. So it is expressing a possibility, but also it is expressing something very polite a la vez está expresando algo amable. Es una petición amable. ¿Ok? Now, what is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. Seem, parecer. Entonces, ¿qué dice? No parece trabajar. And then it comes. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Ok, guys. Now, do you remember one activity that we did last week? ¿Se recuerdan una actividad que hicimos el viernes? That it was the new activity. Create a conversation. You are going to create a conversation. Reporting a technological problem. You can use the conversation that we have in the manual as a guide. But also you need to include, remember, the use of wood, okay? And information about perhaps your own company or your own job. Any questions about the activity? Alguna pregunta con actividad? Is it clear? Okay, perfect. 
let me create the groups. Let's see, Evelyn, you still on your way home? Evelyn, todavía de camino? I think so. Ya llegué a mi calle, ya solo me estaciono. Ok, ok, that's cool, that's cool. Es para ver Gracias. cómo lo ubican grupos. Ok. Ok. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Then we are going to work the same partners we have. El mismo compañero de grupo que tuvo. Ok, let's do it. Five minutes, create a conversation, please. You are going to represent it for me. Karen, hello. Hello, teacher. Le cayó la invitación para que me vaya a trabajar a grupo. Ya la puse yes. en grupo. Hello, Sonia. Hello. You left alone? Yes. Me la han abandonado. Estoy sola. Well, actually, I got two more persons in this group. Tengo dos más asignadas a este grupo. ¿Y quiénes? ¿Por qué no llegaron? I don't know. Es que me están diciendo ellas que, ay, Sonia, me dice. Ay, mentira. <risa> Iré no, a ver mentira. qué pasó con ellas. ¿Ok? Está bien. Bueno, me, mientras voy pensando. Ok. Sandra, hello, Ivania, can you get in the groups? Pueden entrar al grupo. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, one moment, please. Okay, perfect. Sonia is waiting for you. Uh-huh. Tell me what you're doing with the conversation. ¿Qué llevan la conversación? Solo he puesto hello. Bueno, como me dijo Ivania, yo la iba a ocupar ahí como el sistema. Yo solo puse hello Ivania, I'd like to report a problem with the operation system. Y ahorita me iba a contestar Ivania que cuál era el problema. Who is the problem? Okay. Y ahí me quedé. What is the problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? Uh -huh. Or you can make it contracted, remember. Lo que pasa es que a mí me preguntan quién es el problema. El usuario me dice. Oh, okay. Who? 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 Actually, actually, no. It will be, the most correct will be which. Which is the problem. Which, which is, is the problem. Okay. Ese Ahí va. Para ambas cosas. Okay. The person, the person, the user, or the... Or the action. Oh. Ivania told me that she's coming. Okay, you just wait for her. Okay, espere, la que me dijo que ya venía. Okay. I'll go check in the other groups. If not, I'll be back. Si no, ya vuelvo, okay? Okay. Bueno, yo aquí sigo. Of my laptop. Uh -huh. My laptop. 
And I'd like to check the interconnectivity with the network, please. I see. Let me, déjeme llegar, sería. Or let ¿Cómo? me. Ya cerró la otra conexión. Eh, no, no me deja. No, no me deja. No, no me deja. Entonces, apaguen el sonido. Ok, ok. Para que, para que no tenga doble, doble micrófono. Oh my. Ahí está, ahí está. Hola, 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 hola. <laughs> There is echo, teacher. Echo, when echo, you, echo. When you get this type of headphones, believe me, it hurts. Cuando no tienes este tipo de headphones, duele. Pero ya, ya lo voy a apagar. I'll be back, I'll be back. Vuelvo. With white my computer. Okay, the if with with my computer. The you usted me continua continua usted? You call test support. Could you call tech for support? Tech. Yo le respondo. Tech. 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 Okay, support. Tech, tech support. Yo le respondería, yes, I would yes. call to Robert. He is up front the technical support. Y ahí usted me contesta. ¿Qué me contesta? Gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Luis. Vamos a ver. Ok. Entonces. ¿Qué me contestaría ahí? Gracias. Gracias, Luis. Thank you, Luis. Y usted me dice, you're welcome. Es, aunque, ah, este puede poner, esperaré. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hello, teacher. Mr. How are you? I'm good. How is it going? ¿Cómo vamos? Fine. How I will is make it a going? favor, please. Copy. <laughs> yeah. I am real. Hey, Edwin, right. we gotta stay today, tonight you stay with me 10 minutes, okay? Ah, okay, teacher. Perfect. Excellent, excellent. Perfect. Okay. Manquillo, los acusados. Okay. Sería, vaya, la respuesta que me daría Karen sería, uh, I will transfer, transfer it with Susana for technical support. Okay. Que es usted el soporte técnico. Okay, ¿verdad? yes, yes. Bueno. Entonces, I, I answer the phone. Erwin. Tense. Vaya, y en lo que usted espera, este, usted se presentaría. Hi, this is Susana. What can I do for you? Punto. What can I do for you? Two. Creo que sería. Eh, entonces, yo le diría. How can I help you? How can I help you? What can I do for you? Mm. ¿Qué no, puedo hacer sounds... por ti? No. Sí, pero suena un poquito. No adecuado muy para esto. Ah, no, okay. muy directo. Uh, ah, vaya, how vaya, can okay. I... You can say, how can I help you? Yes, how can I help you? Pero es más bonito cuando decimos, how may I help you? Ok. How may I help en este you? Caso, okay. En este caso es más, es más amable el utilizar el may. ¿Por qué? Porque el may expresa una posibilidad Maybe. expresa una posibilidad pero lo expresa de una manera un poquito más amable okay. ah. que cuando expreso que expreso la habilidad estoy siendo muy directo ok 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 you change the word please ya yeah, ya yeah. ah, ok ok 
Yeah, she, she's she's very ya. demanding. Yes. Very demanding, yes. Hello, Susana. I would like to report a problem with my computer. My computer. Practiquemos. Practiquemos. I'm a Hello, teacher. Hello, ladies. Yeah, Sandra. Uh -huh. I want to hear you practicing. Quiero ver unas ¿Está lista? Sí, Sonia. Okay. Hello, Sandra. I like to I'd like to report a problem with me with the operation system. <clears throat> what is the problem? Does not open the program. You are ready, Chip, if you have correctly registered. I no puedo pronunciarla. Register it, Leo Keberna. Your username and password. Username. 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 Ah, username. And la otra palabra, teacher, la de correct is register it. Así es. Register. Register. Register it. Okay. Register it. Register it. Your username. Username. Así es, ¿verdad? Username. Username and password. Yes, I do. Okay, okay. I go chat personally. Thank you. Practicamos otra vez. Estaba sola, la hice sencilla. No, that's okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yes, you still Una have three minutes to practice. Tienen tres minutos para practicar. Hello, uh, Sandra. Thank you. So yo le diría, thanks for calling to take support. Thank you. Thanks for calling to take support. Mm -hmm. do, you see, do you see the, the dialogue? Hi, Vladimir. This is Evelyn Amo calling. Oh, okay, well, show me. Good morning. This is Vladimir from Tech Support. May I help you? Hi, Vladimir. This is Evelyn. I'm calling from Inspections Department. I like to report a problem with my laptop. What? What is the problem, Evelyn? What is the problem, Evelyn? Mm. Evelyn no sabe cuál es el problema. What seems to be the problem, Evelyn? What seems? What? Seems to be problem. What seems? Um, seems to be the problem. Como, como, ¿cuál creo o qué veo? Parece, parece. Ah, parece. ¿Qué parece ser el problema? Okay. ¿Cuál parece? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem, Evelyn? What seems they... to be the problem, Evelyn? What Come seems on. to be? The... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vladimir. They... You are tech support. You are <laughs> right. The tone. What seems to be the problem, Evelyn? Okay. What seems to be the Evelyn? problem, Evelyn? Yeah. If not, Evelyn is going to report you. So no lo van a yes. <laughs> e Evelyn is very picky, you know. Evelyn is being quisquilloso. So yes. Be careful. And she has power be because she is the... The, the right hand from Sonia. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're in problem. Yeah. Be careful. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> it, uh, this uh, crashes the operating system. Um, 3 a 0, no, no. 3 a 0. Ready, guys? Did you practice? <laughs> ¿Ya lo practicaron? ¿Ya están listos? Solo lo estamos escribiendo en limpio. Ok, ok, ok. Remember, you will role play. Acuérdense que la van a representar para los compañeros en dos minutos. En dos minutos. Ok. Problem. That's not open the program. What is Do you are ready, Chef, if you have correctly registered 
your username and password. Yes, I do. Okay, okay. I will go check personally. Thank you. Okay. Yes, that is personally. Así es. Yes, personally. Sonia. Person yes, mm -hmm. I did. Sí, porque es pasado, cierto. Yeah. Se me va. Yes, I did. Okay, and then, what is the problem? Mm. El problema es que cuando le hago la pregunta, ¿cuál es el problema? Implico que usted sabe cuál es el problema y a veces en technological areas. Bueno, sí, podría aplicarse. Pero el sí, ejemplo le ponía... Pregunta, ¿qué quieres, y, cuál, ¿Y cuál es el problema? ¿O qué es lo que reportan? Entonces yo le digo que no abre el programa. Does not open the program. Uh -huh. Aunque es, es más amable cuando le preguntan What seems to be the problem? ¿Cuál parece ser el problema? What seems? Yeah, what seems to be the problem? Así como en el diálogo, ¿se recuerdan? Sí, what seems is the problem sería What seems to be? To be, ah, ¿cuál parece ser? Yep the problem, I think. Yes. What seems to be the problem? What, y lo, lo que responde está bien. Does not open the program. The program does not open. Okay. Oh, Al principio es como si fuese pregunta. Yep. The program does not open. El programa no abre. Ese es el problema, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Yeah, the program does not open. No. Okay. Okay. Lo que sigue es, do you already check if you have correctly regi registered your username and password? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Did. ¿Le está sugiriendo o le está preguntando que ya lo hizo? No, le pregunto que si ya lo hizo. Es did you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Algo se... ah, vaya, se lo voy a poner otra vez, Sandra. Ya con esta corrección. Y la volvemos a practicar. Gracias. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello, Sandra. I'd like to report a problem with the operation system. What seems to what seem to be the problem? The program does does. ¿Qué me dijo? The program does not open. Es que puse mal aquí. Does not open. Sí. The program does not open. Yep. Did you already check if you have correctly registered your username and password? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. I will go check personally. Hey, Ivania oh, came. Oh, you see? Ivania came. Yeah. Hello, Ivania. I think. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Que no me había dicho que no quería trabajar con Sonia. Uh, that's what I understood. <laughs> no, no, no. Estaba llegando a mi casa. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. La vieja confiable. <laughs> See you. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I need to get the attendance one more time. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Absent. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Absent. Berta Maritza Molina Villalta. Absent. Claudio Guadalupe Alfaro López. Absent.
Jackson, Daisy Elizabeth, Celaya Gómez, Absen, Edwin Daniel Sevillano Veras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present. Evania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Lizeth García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Ok. Let's continue. Let's see who's going to be the first group to present to us the conversation. Mr. Luis Armando and Walter Arana, please represent your conversation for the rest of the class. Okay, okay. sure. Puede compartir la conversación. Perfect, excellent. Oops, pero no lo encuentro. <risa> no sé a ustedes, a mí me aparece al frente, abajo, casi en medio. I don't know in your case. Share, share screen, Walter. Yeah, chart, chairs, chairs screen. Share screen. Share screen. Mm, yep. Sorry, teacher. That, no me salió. No. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. you can do it just like demo, that. Démosle así. Puedes sí. representarla así. No, no problem, okay. no problem. Boy, there you have it. Ah, ah, está. Okay. Okay, I start, teacher. Okay, perfect. Hello, Walter. How are you? I have a problem. Why my computer? You call technical support? Yes, Louis. Yes, I will call to Robert. He is from technical support. Thank you, Luis. I will be attentive to the help of Robert. You're welcome. See you later. Thank you. Okay, guys. Very, very, very interesting. Now, I need you, please, uh, Walter. Envíenme el archivo así como lo tiene, como formato de Word, para hacer unas pequeñas correcciones, ¿ok? Ahí se lo envío, tío. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ok, next group is going to be... Well, Sandra and Sonia, because Ivania says, ah, no, I don't want to. Ok. Hello, Sandra. I'd like to report a problem with the operation system. Let's wait that Sandra hasn't activated your microphone. Okay. Sandra, your microphone, I'm sorry. There. Start again, Sonia. Sandra. Okay. Hello, Sandra. I'd like to report a problem with the operation system. What seems to be the problem? The program does not open. Did you already check, check if you have correctly registered your username and password? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. I go, I go check personally. Thank you. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. The same. If you can send me the, the conversation, please. Si me la pueden enviar, por favor. Thank you. 
Edwin, Karen, and Susana. Please. Okay. Good afternoon. This is Edwin GPS Monitor. I need help you. Hello, Edwin. Good afternoon. Who can I help you? Creo que se le cayó el internet a Edwin. Tiene problemas con el internet. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, Edwin, Con, we can hear you. Desde arriba. Ah, me escucha, ah, ok. Desde, desde el inicio. Permítame, me voy a mudar de... Estaba con... Voy a compartir la pantalla, Tiche. Me da yes, permiso. Karen, yes, you can share a screen, Karen. Share a screen, ok. Share a screen, teacher. I'm share a screen. Start, Edwin. Hola. Ok, sorry. Uh, good afternoon. This is Edwin, GPS monitor. I need help you. Hello, Edwin. Good afternoon. I can. Who can I help you? How? I would like to report. How? I would like to report a problem with my computer. Edwin, wait, please. I will transfer it my with Susan for technical support. Suena el teléfono, ring ring. <laughs> Hi, this okay. uh, Susana. How may I can help you? Hello, How Susana. may I help you? Hello, Susana. I would like to record a, a problem with my computer. What will be the problem? I think the internet is following me. Leave and check the server. Yes, I have. Let me make a call. Okay. Hey, Edwin. Ah, un ratito. <laughs> hey, Edwin. Will you have a problem? The internet provisor is working to solve it. Okay, thanks, Karen. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Provider. Provider. And again, provide. I need, to, provide. I need you to send it to me, please. Thank you, teacher. Necesito que me la envíen, because I will make some. Yes, en el grupo, teacher. Okay, perfecto. Así le hago unas pequeñas correcciones luego. Thank you very much. And let's see. It. Last but not least, Evelyn, Vladimir, let's do it. Okay, let me share the screen. Do you see my screen, Evelyn? Yes. Okay. Good morning. This is Vladimir from Tech Support. May I help you? Hi, Vladimir. This is Evelyn. I am calling from Inspection Department. I like to report a problem with my laptop. Sure. What seems to be the problem, Evelyn? I guess the updates for, from Windows crashes the operating system of my laptop, and I like to check the interconnectivity with the network, please. I see. Let me get to review it. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you for calling to tech support. Okay. In your case, guys, there's just one little mistake. Ustedes solamente tienen un pequeñito problema. Error. Operative system. Operative. Ah, sorry, teacher, sorry, sorry. Come on, Vladimir. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. A me igual se me pasa. I, I, I would think it's your area, me parece. <laughs> yeah, yes. Area. So, so sorry, teacher. No problem, no problem. Very good. Interesting activity, guys. I like to see the way that you are applying the vocabulary scene in the class. Now, we are going to check something else. Ahora vamos a ver algo más. Let's see. Uh, we are going to make a brainstorm. Okay, brainstorm. Tormenta de ideas. Yep, we got a brainstorm. Sorry, we got sorry a, my, my... A brainstorm. Let's see, let's see. 
the brainstorm we are going to work with is this. What are the most common problems that people report to tech support? Let's start with uh, Vladimir. Tell me one. One of the most common problems people report to tech support. Okay, the more common is internet connection. Okay, internet connection. Perfect. Yes. Thank you very much. Let's see. Uh, Ivania, tell me what is one common problem that people report to technical support? Mencioneme otro problema que la gente reporta tech support. Um, for, um, system? Problem the system? Problems, problems with the system. Perfect. Thank you very much. What about you, Evelyn? Tell me one problem that people usually report. Um, the connection to red. Okay. Web connection, web connection. Web connection. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. No te share. En cuanto al, me refería a las, a las redes, por ejemplo, de la empresa con la que uno se conecta en diferentes espacios o Net. a las a los sistemas Intran propios de intranet. intranet. Intranet, ese es el nombre propio, intranet. Ok, thank you. What about you, Sonia? Ok. En, 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 en case of the call center, the problem is uh, with telephony. Pero telephone como es caída de telefonía? Telephone lines down. Yeah. Telephone lines down. And it's, telephone. listen to me. Center, no center. Center, call center. center. Call center. Yep. Okay. Um, Esa T después de la N no suena. Call center. Ok, um, como digo que no es frecuente, pero cuando pasa eso es lo que pasa ahí. Ok, it's not frequent, but the, that's the most common problem. No es frecuente, pero es el más común, más usual. The most usual. Cuando pasa esto es. Eh? Ok, thank you. What most about you, Susana? Useful. Most common, yeah. It's difficult for print. Okay, yes, printing problems. That's pretty common. Yeah, problems with the printer is uh, all the time. Let's see, let's see. What about you, Karen? Can you give me, tell me one of the problems that you usually have when calling for tech support? Uh, technical problems. Okay, technical problems. Now, uh, we are going to check. Ahora vamos a revisar some little things here. Vamos a revisar algo. Let's see, guys. Okay, just give me a second. Perfect. I need to do this. And now this. And now this. Okay, we have here, look. Most common reasons to call tech support. Let's see, new software, no internet access, a virus, deleted files, paper stuck in printer, USB ports out of order, funny noise in the CPU, frozen screen, Okay, new software, no internet access, a virus, deleted files, paper stuck in printer, USB ports out of order, funny noise in the CPU, or frozen screen. These are common problems that people have for calling tech support. Okay, so let's see. New software. Tell me, guys. Have you ever had problems with new software? 
ya han tenido problemas con new software and Vladimir doesn't come y Vladimir no cuenta I'm sorry Vladimir but that's specifically your area so no in your case no I know that that's normal for you teacher for me I guess the the most common is the layer eight the interface between the keyboard and the chair the user <laughs> yeah I can imagine I can imagine so did you see guys the problems we have there? Vieron los problemas que tenemos ahí mencionados? Okay. Now, those problems are common problems, like the, the, the printers. When printers get paper stock, uh, ink on the printers, or connection to the printers, those are pretty common problems. Okay. Now, I need you to think about one real problem that you have reported lately. Quiero que me piensen en un problema que han reportado to tech support lately. Uno de los últimos. One of the last issues you have reported. Okay? One of the last issues. Issues is like situations. Tell me. Tell me, please, one of the last situations or issues you have reported to take support. So let's see. Sonia, tell me, one of the last issues you have reported to take support. With my email. Okay, um, what was the problem? Tell me. How do you say no recibía correos? I couldn't get email. I couldn't. Yes, I couldn't. I couldn't get emails. Oh, really? Yes. Did they help you? Le ayudaron? Yes. Okay, yes. that's cool. You couldn't get emails. That's weird. Eso es raro. Pero no, no, ajá, según el del proveedor, porque no, no era en todos los casos. Sí recibía unos y otros no, pero dijeron que le iban a reportar el proveedor. And that's no weird. Sé. Pretty weird. Well, thank you. Ahí, ahí Vladimir nos puede decir porque son respuestas hacia el aire. Me I send you my resume? Se suelen dar. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Sí, son las respuestas que nos dicen cuando uh, a Ajá. veces no tienen idea. Uh, that's that's the, the answer we give when we don't know the answer. <laughs> we'll call the provider. We will report the problem. Reportaremos el exactly. problema. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, been there, done that. Ya hemos pasado por eso. Okay, yes. let's see. Thank you very much, Sonia. What about you, Sandra? Tell me. Do you usually report problems to tech support? I password or user lock. Okay, you lock your password or your user. Okay, that's because you forgot your password? Es porque lo olvidado? Yes. Okay. And tell me, how regularly do you change your password? Que tan a menudo cambia los passwords? Um, Just when you forget, solo cuando se acuerda, cuando los olvida. No. No sé cómo se dice cada, cada mes. Each, each, each month. month. Each month. Each month. So I imagine that the system asks you to change the password. Me imagino que entonces el sistema le pide que cambie el password. Sí, automáticamente. Yeah, and those are protocols. But you got to change passwords each month. Thank you very much, Sandra. Interesting. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What about you, Edwin? Could you... Whoopsie. Oops. Could you tell me? Could you tell me one one problem that you reported to tech support lately? Mm. 
with uh, the clouds hate me, hate me. Oh, really? Why? Uh, problem to connect or access a internet in my house too. Oh, so you are calling all the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Una vez lo hice ir tres veces a la casa. Well, believe me, in my house they even changed the cable. Aquí me cambiaron hasta el cable and the connection still bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, um, I think it's a little bit more complex. Creo que es un poquito más complicado. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Thank you very much. The idea, guys, here, the idea here is that we are able to report problems, issues. That happens to us all the time with tech support. Now, just let me check something. Okay, perfect. Just let me check on something. Okay, guys, we are going to do one exercise. I need you, if you have your manual handy. Tenemos el manual por ahí a la mano. Let's go, please, to page number 40. Nos vamos a ir a la página 40, okay? There are, well, actually, first you have the explanation. Primero tenemos la explicación. And we are going to touch it just slightly. Vamos a verla levemente. Okay, because we are going to focus more in the exercise. But we have here this. Let's see. Ways to report a problem. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have trouble with. Trouble. Problem. is the same. Okay. Remember, I would like, estamos indomable. Uh, I'm sorry. In this case, uh, something that I needed to, algo que quería que quedase claro is this. Okay, 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 okay. Um, just give me something. Okay, in this case, we are using would to express this look we are using would to express a polite request and questions utilizamos el would para hacer una pregunta o un request una uh, petición polite amable okay remember that we are being polite whenever we use wool. Siempre que usamos el wool, estamos siendo amable. Okay? Also, very similar, when we are like giving assistance, normalmente cuando estamos dando asistencia o pidiendo asistencia, we use may. Okay? May and can expresan exactamente lo mismo, la habilidad o la capacidad de hacer algo. The difference is this, listen. Can I help you? Ahora escuche. May I help you? Can is direct. Ok. Can es muy directo. In some situations, it could be considered rude. En algunas situaciones podría llegar a ser considerado rudo. May is polite. Ok. El may se vuelve más amable. So, you can tell somebody, how can I help you? It's ok. Pero es, le está diciendo así, ¿en qué le ayudo? Así, hasta con el tono. Ok. Imagine that you are calling for tech support and the person in tech support says, sí, dígame, ¿en qué le ayudo? Doesn't sound like nice, right? Now, when they use may, uh, may I help you? ¿Le puedo ayudar? You get the difference? ¿Entendemos la diferencia? 
Okay. The same goes with wool. Okay. Wool when we Teacher. make a request. Yes. Karen. Sorry. Eh, yo, le, yo le comprendo la diferencia, pero mi oído no, no es tan fino y no le capto bien la palabra de diferencia. May y lo otro era Ken. Ken. Look in the chat. Ah, ok. Sí, ahí sí. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Ok, guys. Now, remember, we also use it for the request. También usamos el wood para hacer la petición. Ok. Like, uh, imagine that you are, you need to call tech support and you really want them to go to your office or to your working area. You say, hey, would you please come over? Podría, por favor, venir? You are asking polite. Even if you are in a position that you can command them, aun si usted está en una posición de, 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 de jefatura, normalmente, este, I'm sorry, I will explain something in Spanish because it makes sense only in Spanish. Le voy a explicar algo en español porque tiene sentido en español. Eh, we, nosotros en español tendemos a ser, normalmente, aunque tengamos un grado de jefatura, en algunos casos hay excepciones, obviamente, como en todo, pero normalmente el español tiende a ser muy amable con las peticiones, aunque realmente sea una orden. ¿Ok? Aunque realmente sea un command, nosotros a veces lo convertimos en un request. ¿Verdad? Porque aún cuando le van a pegar a uno, le van a agregar ahí una su acción de personal, ¿verdad? En el expediente le dicen... Eh, ¿Podría pasar, por favor, a Recursos Humanos? And you go like, what? What did I do now? Okay. But they even, they even do it like that, right? Pero todavía le ponen el podría, right? We use it like that. That's the way we speak. Spanish is, I mean, for us, it's easier. And it would be easier for us to understand the use of wood. Para nosotros sería más fácil el utilizar y entender el wood instead of can, in lugar del can, okay? Because we are being polite, and that's actually the way uh, Spanish people, Spanish-speaking people talk. ¿Cómo le digo eso? Y esa es la manera que las, pers las personas hablantes del español hablan. But I think you get my idea, right? Creo que se me entendieron. It's just that in English it makes sense. That's the way Spanish speaking people talk. Yeah. You speak a language. Okay. Usted speak a language. You talk. Usted habla con las personas. But you speak a language. Cuando utiliza el speak para hablar de, de lenguaje. Y el talk. When you talk to somebody, cuando habla con alguien. And tell, y el tell cuando dice algo. Okay? I'm sorry, but I don't want you to get too confused. Perdón, no quiero que se confundan tanto, así que le voy a escribir algo. Okay. Look in the chat, please. I'm explaining there how first how to use a speak. Now, something that I will explain to you, but not today, I will see the speaker, but no, it's very pronto is the difference between tell and say. No, call es llamar a Vladimir. Okay. So, uh, in Spanish, we will use more wood. 
¿ok? En español utilizaría más, utilizaríamos más el would. Okay? Now let's go back to the to the to the explanation because there's something else that I needed to recognize. Okay. Problem, issue, trouble. These three words are the same. Estas tres palabras se refieren a lo mismo. Okay? Problem, issue, trouble. They three, the three of them refer to the same. Las tres se refieren a lo mismo. Yeah, I know that some of you are looking at me like, what? Yo entiendo que algunos me están viendo como que. Okay, problem is problem, right? Trouble es un sinónimo. Issue is more like a situation. Cuando hablamos de issue, estamos hablando de situación problemática. Okay? Just be careful with issues because if you say, hey, I got some issues. Si usted dice que usted tiene some issues, you are talking about something different. Okay? Or if you are saying like, imagine that, uh, I don't know, Imagínense una pareja, and you say, oh, they have some issues. You are saying that they, as a couple, got problems, okay? Son situaciones problemáticas. That would be, esa sería más, la interpretación más correcta de issues, okay? But if you say that somebody, si usted dice que una persona tiene issues, es que tiene sus problemitas ahí arriba, right? Yeah, you know, like, um, okay, let's continue. Any question up to here? Yo sé que esto se vuelve un poquito tedioso explicar este tipo de vocabulario. Any question? No? Okay, let's continue. Now, what you been waiting for, okay? Lo que hemos estado esperando, the activity. What is the activity? Okay. What are the common issues you have in your workplace? Now, write down the most common problems you have with the equipment in your office. Write the problems you and your classmates have in common in the middle section. What are you going to do here? Okay, you are going to do something like this. Usted va a hacer algo como esto, okay? Like here, imagine you are going to write, uh, you are going to write your name, okay? I got my name, Douglas. Here, I'm going to write the name of one of you. I'm going to write Edwin. Then what am I going to do? Okay, then I am going to write here the problems I usually have with equipment. With the equipment in my office, what is the most common problem? Okay, usually I get frozen screen. Let me see what else. Uh, okay, I also get um, internet, internet failure. What else? Another problem that I usually have, uh, connection problems, connectivity actually, connectivity problems. What else do I have? Let me check. Oh, the beautiful blue screen. Okay, those are my problems. Now here I will write Edwin problems with equipment in your office. Edwin, would you mind telling me one or two of the problems you usually have with equipment in your office? Okay, teacher. Uh, sería first, um, delay yeah. five. The letter the little, file. The letter file. Files. Okay. 
Paper stock in printer. Paper stock in printer. Oops. In printer. Perfect. Now, here, what we are going to write, thank you very much, Elvin. Here, in the one in the middle, what we are going to do is to write the one the problems we have in common, okay? Y aquí en medio escribo los que tenemos en común. That's what you are going to do. Do you understand the activity? ¿Entendemos la actividad? Yep. Okay, guys. Let me recreate the groups. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Groups are created. You're going to be working in pairs. Let's do it and hurry up. We just have 10 minutes to finish this activity, okay? Problemas que me ha dado últimamente. Eh, blue screen. Blue screen. Uh, frozen screen. Frozen screen. And restart for. Um, ¿Cómo decíamos cuando se reinicia por las updates? For updates. Uh, crashes for days. What? Crashes for updates. Crashes. What Update. Update. Uh -huh. uh, you can only. save. Oh, you can save. Um, in the internet connection. Sorry, teacher. Le puedo ir diciendo adiós a la máquina. Ah. Internet Maybe. connection. Evelyn. Internet, Internet connection. Internet connection. So fire. Connection. <laughs> what about you, Walter? Is the drop the system network? Sorry. The cuando se cae el sistema de la red. Fall down. Yo lo busqué y me salía drop the system network. Drop, drop. the, the drop. ROP. Sí. Drop mm. the system. Fíjate que esa palabra no, la he visto en el Farmer, que... pero es que te corta la conexión. Sí, pero es que drop. si usted dice drop, está hablando. Pero realmente lo que quiere expresar es una caída del sistema. Ajá. Ah, un... Una fe. Principalmente con el servidor, cuando se cae el servidor. Se cae oh. todo. Sí, sigue siendo full. Lo que pasa es que drop es esto. Tengo algo acá y oh. lo boto. ¿Ok? Entonces, no. drop, drop podría ser... ¿Cómo le explico? Ay, es que la explicación se volvería... Bueno, expliquemos la... Drop. Yo esa palabra la, drop, con, la conozco del firewall. El, sí, es que usted la conoce en el firewall porque si decimos de que si hay un drop es porque la caída del sistema no es, no es automática, no. sino que es provocada. Ah, es correcto. O sea, el firewall lo que hace es dropea la conexión cuando ve que uh -huh. está dentro de, de la regla que le, que le impide llegar. Por ejemplo, Por yo, tengo publicado, ajá, yo tengo publicado mi servidor web y entonces alguien me lo está atacando. Ya tengo una regla en el firewall 
que me dice que este tipo de ataque lo dropé, drop, entonces ni siquiera llega al servidor, o sea que el firewall lo corta, esto es drop para mí. Sí, no. por, eso le, por eso les decía, pero quería explicarlo así de sencillo. O sea, ah. La idea es esa, de que cuando le dicen drop, es que la acción no, la, no es automática, sino que es provocada. Es correcto. ¿Sí? Entonces sería fall cuando, system. Cuando, yeah, a fall in the system, una caída del sistema. ¿Okay? Fall in the system. Lo que pasa es que cuando decimos por una caída no es algo que usted provoca, sino que sucede. I don't know if you get the idea. No sé si me explico. Ah, uh, yes. Because, I mean, yeah, yeah. In your case, you get it, Vladimir. It's quite simple. You know the, the vocabulary, but... Yes, but uh, Evelyn is a lawyer technical. and Walter is a accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't like to get into an argument with Evelyn. No way. Con Evelyn no me quiero discutir. <laughs> no healthy, no healthy. No es saludable. I'll see you guys. I'll go check another group. Okay. No sé, así me dio la palabra outgoing. I'm sorry? Está bien. Uh, outgoing. Outgoing. Está bien la palabra. Depende. Yeah, I know the word outgoing, but what are you applying it to? Para que la aplican. Ah, yo lo que quería era eh, problemas en llamadas salientes. Mm. O sea, llamadas It's salientes. Outgoing, ¿Cómo no yes. puedo? Sí, outgoing calls. Es correcto. Yes, the only thing no. is this. Lo único que también les quiero aclarar es esto. Esa uh -huh. palabra también se aplica para las personas. Es un adjetivo que describe una actitud en las personas. ¿Ok? Like somebody who is outgoing. ¿Quién puede ser outgoing? Uh, oh, nuestro compañero acá, Mauricio. He is very outgoing. Él es una persona muy outgoing. But you see that he likes to talk. He is very talkative. He is very Como extrovertido. Open. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Okay, that's yeah. that's an outgoing person. Ese término se utiliza para eso, okay? Also to describe somebody okay. who, is, who is very, I mean, he's very open. He's very easy with himself. No digo eso. Okay. Que está, que es, está cómodo consigo mismo. ¿Sí? I mean, uh, I cannot be an outgoing person. Yo no puedo ser an outgoing person. I am not. Okay? Yo no lo soy, but in the case of, the, of him, he's like very open. He gets along with people. He talks. That's outgoing. And yes, of course, in this, in the example that Sandra is given, is perfect. Outgoing calls and incoming is the opposite. El opuesto de outgoing es incoming. En el caso que usted está explicando, Sandra. Incoming sería entrante, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, puedo okay. poner las dos. Add going en coming call problems. Incoming and outgoing. Incoming. O para resumir problemas con telefonía, podemos decir. Issues with phone system. Perdón. Or phone system. Issues. Phone system. Issues. Issues. No. Ok, hold on. Es que no le oigo. Es que le oigo Espera. ruido. Sí, Cortado, pero es que tenemos escuché. un problema con su, con su, la conexión de ver. Ok, let's do something. Issues. 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 Yes, like that. Okay. Es que su pantalla se me congela, Sonia. Sí, yo, mi internet ha caído. 
You see, it wasn't me. You know. The then issues with the um, phone calls. Phone system or oh, phone call systems. Phone. Uh -huh. Phone call system. System. Okay, I'm gone. Please if you need me, let me know. Me voy si okay. me necesitan me violan. Pongámoslo, pongámoslo. No sé cómo se llama eso. Yes, but don't use Spanish. Install programs. Ah. Oh. Install programs. Ah, oh, va. Wow. Este. Uf. Teacher. Yes. Help me. Tell me. No sé, no sé qué más poner. Este, no. You, you, the, the reality. If you don't have that many problems, you don't. Mm, la verdad, no. No tiene muchos problemas, no los tiene. No los tenemos. Prácticamente solo son Internet Speed, Internet Access, no Internet Access, Email Problems, Printed Connective, Software Update, Printer Connectivity. 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 Ah, Connectivity. Yes. yes. Printer yes. Connectivity. Ok. Pero esas okay, son las comunes. Cool. Yeah. Las comunes, Edwin. Sí, solo esas tengo. Se las voy a mandar al grupo, Luis. Bye, okay. That's fine, that's fine. If those are the ones you have, that's it, no problem, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, teacher. Now practice the pronunciation because I will choose one of you to tell them to me. Yeah. Okay? Okay, teacher. Ahorita se les envío, Luis. So there's a door. Okay. Sí. Internet access for the system. Okay. Okay. Listo. Okay. Ready. 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 Come on, Emily. I catch you all the time speaking Spanish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay. Practice them because I will pick one person to represent the group. Escogeré a uno para que me represente el grupo. Okay. Okay. In my case, problems with email. Email problems. Email problems. Email problems. What did you kill, Sonia? Que mató. ¿Qué? ¿Qué fue lo que mató? Oh, come on. Use the pencil. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> the pen. Uh -huh. I, thought you had dropped, I thought you had dropped your little bottle of water. Oh, no. I thought you had Esa dropped chiquita. your little bottle, yes. <laughs> but no. then I remember that you place it on your... Right. Y luego me acordé que la pone a su derecha. Exacto. Uh, Entonces, sorry, le I, digo las I, mías. Por... Please, please, say it, tell them. Uh, unstable internet. Email In unstable problem. internet connection. This connection. Unstable okay. internet okay. connection. Internet connection. Okay, email problems, problems with electrical connection or, or electrical connection problems. Electrical connection. Okay, no, that's that's Problema uh, electrical. power system. That's power. Okay, in English, no va a decir que son problemas okay. eléctricos, sino power. Power connections. Power system connection problems. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. You got 18 seconds, 17, 16, 15, 14. Four to go. 12, 10, 9, 8. No more? Bye. Dios. <laughs> Un tecito caliente. Sí. Everybody, everybody, but todos queremos paz. Anyway. Okay, uh -huh. let's see, let's see. Who's gonna start? I got Evelyn, Vladimir, and Walter Arana. Let's see. As these guys are very good gentlemen, como estos chicos son muy buenos caballeros. Evelyn, it's your turn. Play this first. <laughs> in, the, in the case of my co-workers, uh, check the uh, problems most usual in these companies. Um, in the case the of Walter, the system network, uh, file the system network, license expired, problems with printer, internet access. In the case of Vladimir, of Vladimir's, uh, internet access, new software, blue screen, and fall of the system. In my case, in my company, frozen screen, Internet file folder of system, pardon. Um, blue screen, project update. Uh, and the problems usually come on. Uh, uh, we have file the system network and internet access. Perfect. Thank you very much. Failure. Al principio me fails. Failure. Failure. Yes. Okay. Escribir la palabra en el chat. Okay. Group number two, Failure. Sandra and Sonia. Let's see. Let's see. How do I decide who's gonna be? Oh, thank you, Sonia. You open your microphone. Ya que abriste el micrófono. Please tell me the <laughs> sentence. Okay. And um, my usually problems. Or in my, my company. Usual, uh, my usual problem. Usual. Uh huh. Or in my company, are uh, unstable internet connection, English problem, power systems, connection problems, issues, issues, issues with the phone call system, server connections problem. Okay, the, perfect. Digo de Sandra también o ella va a decirlos? No, you tell them. Usted dígamelos. Okay. Uh, in case of Sandra, password or user look, sir. Password or user look. Server connection problem issues with the phone call system. The common. Our okay. server connection problem issues with the phone call system. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Guys, okay. uh, from the vocabulary she told me, I included you two explanations. The vocabulary she said, I put two explanations. Check them out in the, in the chat, please. Then I got Ivania, Karen, and Susana. Okay, Ivania, tell me, please. Hmm. Ivania's, yeah, Ivania's here. Ivania, hello. Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay. Um, my usually problem, uh, number one, internet connection problems, um, operate system problems in, um, um, when connection with printer on my PC is lost, and when the power goes, uh, that we have a battery and the telephone lens fires. Hi. 
lines. Lines. Only. Okay. What about your classmate? ¿Qué le dijeron sus compañeros? ¿Cuáles problemas les contaron ellos? Eh, Susana, solo le copiaron una de Susana, perdón. Tell them to me. Dígame. Eh, problem with the VPN connection. Okay. Eh, internet connection problems. And ¿Cómo se dice coincidimos? We coincide or we have in common. Tenemos en común. Ah, ah pues, um, la de, la de when the power, eh, no, 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 no. Connection with printer and my lo, um, my first connection with printer and my PC is lost. Okay. Solo la de Susana lo de, lo de captar. That's perfect. That's perfect, no problem. Now let's see, Elwin, tell me, George and Luis, please. Okay, teacher. Here, here common, common problem is internet speed. Mm -hmm. Low run the computer, uh, blue screen, the screen yes. tore us by itself, no internet access, printer connectivity, Connectivity and software update. Software update. Okay, perfect. Update. Thank you very and much. My problem. Yes, tell me, problem, tell me, tell me, tell me. Internet speed, no internet access. In my problems, printer, printer connectivity is software update only. Teacher. Okay, update, update, update. Okay, guys, I need to get the attendance one last time. Eh, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera, Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo, Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta, Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López, Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya Gómez, Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras, Present. Evelyn Patricia Caballero Molina, Present. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos, Present, teacher. Karen Lizeth García Rodríguez, Present teacher. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Armando Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Absent. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Ma Thank you. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I have really appreciate it. Eh, lo aprecio mucho su presencia. Los espero mañana. Mañana vamos a tener... Oh, mañana les mando una PowerPoint antes de la clase. And I'm also analyzing on a PowerPoint. Okay. And guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Please work in the platform. Don't forget it. And Edwin, you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Everybody. Sonia me mandó. Sonia me mandó. ¿Qué cosa? Na, le mandé. Sí, le mandé. ¿O no? Ah, sí, sí. Creo que no, no salvan bien, pero sí lo, sí lo chequé. Y hice los tres ejercicios, pero no sabía dónde confirmarlos ni cómo enviárselos en el sitio. Pero sí los vi. Uh -huh. <ríe> ¿Cómo no? Pero yo le voy a escribir mañana para preguntarle, porque sí los hice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Well, good night. Good night. Mr. Elwin. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Hello, teacher. Mr. How are you? Elwin, we need to work in pronunciation, Elwin. Uh, uh, because you got, you know, it's amazing. You 
you understand a lot, you can make cap sentences, long sentences, you got the ideas. Usted tiene las ideas, me arma oraciones, este, me arma respuestas rápidas. Creo que solo es pronunciación. No me trago. No, pero más que todo es trago. pronunciación, no es porque no sepa cuál es la palabra. Es pronunciación mm -hmm. en lo que vamos a trabajar. Ok, Edwin. Este, este, estuve este. haciendo los trabajos que me mandó. Lo vi los, todo y... Los listening. Sí. Me pongo a escucharlos, crea lo que me pongo, pero con, con mi mente a veces pasa tan ocupada en varias cosas, entre el trabajo, entre el las cosas de mi hija, el estudio. Uh, me quedo así de que... Ok, Edwin. Uh, in your case, then what we should do is music. Música. Okay. Tengo como una semana de no escuchar música, por eso es que no practico en las noches. Yeah. Music in English. Songs, canciones conocidas, canciones que usted logre dominar, canciones que usted sepa que, que le gustan de manera tal que si usted ve la letra en inglés, no me busque letras en español, no me busque la traducción, no, no nos interesa eso, no nos interesa, en este momento no me interesa que entienda lo que le está diciendo una canción. Me interesa mm. que usted escuche la, pal la palabra. Primero escúchela varias veces. De manera tal que los sonidos, usted ya su oído esté acostumbrado a ellos. Cuando su oído esté acostumbrado a ellos, entonces lea al mismo tiempo que escuche. Y trate de mm -hmm. ir reproduciendo, creando el sonido, como lo oye. ¿Okay? Por eso le digo, tiene que ser música que a usted le guste, que a usted le llame la atención, que le interese, para que no le aburra. ¿Okay? Y no es de, de aburrir las letras. Es poco pero probable. <ríe> Crea lo que, que intento, pero se me olvida al instante. Yeah, no, 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 no. Vaya, mira, la cuestión es esta. No se trata de que usted se aprenda de memoria. Se trata de que el oído se acostumbre a reconocer la palabra. ¿Ok? ¿En qué nos va a servir esto? En que usted ha escuchado muchas palabras y quizás en una clase I start working and I start applying terms which are new for you. Y comienzo a aplicar términos que son nuevos para usted. Y usted dice, oh, esa palabra ya la ha oído. Su oído ya la reconoce. Usted ya la puede reproducir. Ya la puede identificar en un contexto. La idea es esa, lo que necesitamos es que ahorita usted está escuchando y me está produciendo. <coughs> Solo que necesitamos trabajar en la pronunciación. ¿Y cómo se trabaja pronunciación? Repetition. Y en su caso, debido a sus exigencias, working, study, family, debido a todas las obligaciones que tiene, ¿cuál es normalmente su escapar? La otra cosa a la que le dedica tiempo, music, right? Usted escucha mucha música. Eh, eh, y también me puede mandar audios. A veces okay, yo perfect. en el bus me pongo a escuchar, por ejemplo, eh, bueno, hay unos links que vienen en, el, en, la, en el manual, en, en la guía que nos manda. Yes. Eh, entonces a mí me puse a escucharlos y sí me pongo. Hablan más rápido, siento que me fuerza más a, eh, hacia el oído. Sí, para tratar le, de entender la palabra. Le voy a buscar material para que usted pueda trabajar. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Hagamos okay, eso. Así le esa... queda bien. Y de esa manera, pues, la idea es que usted se habitúe a practicar cada vez más. Y de esa manera también va a tener un ejercicio para aplicar durante esta semana que vamos a pasar en vacation. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ay, no, bueno, vacation, teacher. <laughs> Okay, no, but you will have vacation from the class. Creo que tendrá ah, vacation. from the class. Yeah, we finish this yeah. week. Vamos esta semana. Yes. Eh, teacher, y el homework, que nos había dejado la actividad del anuncio. I hope everybody is finishing. Yo espero que todos estén terminando. Mañana le voy a pedir un avance. Eh, yo se lo mandé completo. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh -huh. But you will have to present it. Pero lo va a presentar aquí a los compañeros. Yeah, teacher, si ese día no me toca trabajar. 
la, la cool. última vez no, no pude exponer lo que. Eh. Yeah, but let's, let's, hope, let's hope you can make it this. Esperemos que en esta sí okay. pueda. Sí, no, okay. este me toca descansar, voy a estar en la casa. That's excellent, that's excellent. Well, I don't know, Edwin, tell me if there's anything else that I could help you. Si hay algo más en lo que le pueda ayudar, que tengo usted alguna eh, duda o algo. For the moment, no, only my pronunciation and ver, aprender. Learn. No sé cómo se dice. Learn. Learn. Eh, learn. Uh, New vocabulary. Tipo vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary. Yeah, don't New worry. Vocabulary. I will help you. I will help you. I'll send you material for you to work on. Yo le voy a enviar material para que trabaje. Yo le ayudo. Perfecto. No. Yo crea lo que yo los escucho y, y ahí paso escuchándolos hasta tratar de entender un poquito. <laughs> no problem. No problem. We'll be a, I'm on it. Me pondré ah. a ello. No se preocupe. Ah, well, okay. Edwin, thank you very much. Thanks, teacher. Have a good night, um, if possible. En lo que cae, una buena noche. Ah, so so. <laughs> ok, ok. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Good bye, night. Bye. Good night. Take care. Ok, that was our class with Mr. Edwin. And we are going to finish our class in just a second. Let's just close. Some little things here with the system that are not needed. Not needed for right now. And the quiz are going to allow us to work on something uh, a little bit deep. Okay, let's finish this session. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.